hello family welcome back so guys this very recipe is sponsored by leftovers <laughs> i had so much leftovers in my freezer and i just decided to make a recipe with it no minding how it will come out and trust me guys this came out so perfect so yes i'm just showing you guys the leftovers i found out that i had in the freezer that sponsored this very recipe so it's going to be an english meal but i feel like making this voiceover with pigeon let's try okay guys first of all for that leftover i get liver i decide to boil steam my liver with um normal ingredients where you suppose you stay steaming then dice them into cube shape i'm very sorry if i mistake um use normal english or good english on this because i'm used to speaking good english so i would always want to switch once in a while so in case i do that forgive me so for my youtube family members we know be nigerians i know i have a lot of youtube family members that are not nigerians that might not understand my pidgin language please ask me questions <laughs> when need be okay i'm here to answer all your questions so guys i can't remember say i still get another leftover something for inside this my carton where the ways they keep reserved spices so this very one i don't use them because they thin open and spoil it. so i decided to keep it i just said let me check it out and see if it has expired luckily the date is still intact so let's go next i had this leftover beef in my freezer so i'm just going to do that is watch what i'm doing i'm kind of like i'm slicing it flat not so flat but at least not i don't need it to be in chunk i hope you understand what i mean so you're just going to do this um for it to be flat to the size you want yes and this is perfect so i'm just tearing them open for it to be kind of flat so as i did they talk before sorry in a mistake i didn't speak good english before so make we continue now i could just tear them like this then i go proceed to the next stage i say make a show now as i say tear them first so next i go put them into my clean plates then i go try to spice them so i go to tell on the spices why i use i use um chicken spices i use two different type of chicken spices because i get them if you don't get them i beg use the one way you get i added salt i added um ginger and garlic um blends yes dried ginger and garlic um you know the powdered ginger and garlic yes that was what i used here then what did i add again i added salt i told you guys earlier and yeah that is it so next you go get your non-stick pan guys non-stick pan i beg now non-stick pan will give you these results where you want okay so what you go do nana bring that your beef where you don't spice put some small oil for the non-stick pan then put your beef into them this beef uh, we know they cook them now like this it will cook now this recipe be the main umbonge recipe if you try this beef uh, this very beef pattern why they use for now so now the pattern why they use for my shawarma beef guys it is sweet the ingredients they enter inside well uh, this one no be even joke so i said they tell now now it's like they try do so once one part's done ready you go turn them over to the next part so now our beef done ready it's properly cooked trust me try it and see so next i'm just going to bring bring it out then proceed to the next stage yay so the next stage we go do it we go cut this beef small small yes so guys i beg if you go market buy enough beef and a bluff liver now because in only this quantity i get for fridge now make me one money jam i beg buy enough put them inside your rice trust me and eh? i be the sweetness you see the beef the liver and the veggies might be the game changer for this recipe why they're giving us so but what i go do now because say the recipe they sponsored by leftover i go manage it and i get for house so yes i'm just going to dice the beef you know bit by bit so let's proceed i don't go carry my big gas come out why because i know say people they might contact if they say once they see say i post this guy recipe new thing when they never tried before they go they cry so you make this food you know saying can't give me all those my friends and my family eh, they, they stress me where well, well. so that make that they make me cook this food where in many 
I suppose just cook small portion, but they no gray. So what I they put now na um curry leaf? Yes, I just put bay leaf, onions inside oil, fry my rice properly washed rice. Okay, then I included my curry leaf. Next, this is the meat stock I had in freezer. This meat stock don't dim my freezer for over one month, guys. Let make me say, eh, I must use everything we don't day inside that freezer. Then I included water because the meat stock will not be enough to um cook the meal. So next we go put our spices okay so what did i put here nana our normal um cube yes that is our maggi cube i can't put curry i can't put this fried rice spice put chicken spice i can't put salt join them then i put pepper you see no see when i put the pepper be like i mistakenly no video that part okay just put the necessary way you get for us but they must to put time put curry okay so next we go proceed to turn our rice they don't they ready so because of one of the people where they send this food go give get baby of two years and i know say the baby go like it time i decided to add more water made for still cook small left for me i like the consistency already but i just added little water and it don't cook to my satisfaction bring them down carry that pan where you use before for beef pull for fire Add them small vegetable oil. You see the small oil why they use for all my food. Not be say you go go pack oil everywhere. You understand me? And always invest in good oils. If you get money, buy olive oils. Okay. So next we are going to continue. I'll first fry my green pepper because it get the kind of flavor with this pepper they put for food. We most of us know no. So you need to fry and first so that that flavor you go get and before you add other veggies, maybe for no cover the flavor so next i go go in with my cabbage okay now put your cabbage you see as this my cabbage they look some one of the plates they look like say it does soak water that was because it was so cold and i had to bring it out to the fridge so for you to understand really this is really leftover sponsored sorry guys i had a little breakdown so next we go put our carrots after our carrots we go cut add our green beans stay stay keep staring so now nah, i never put any other spices or oh, made them join them all and just my veggies i did put so this veggie i want it to be as natural as possible so what i just do now i add little set and little maggi, maggi cube okay to read so at least give it a bit of taste next i go put my kidney beans this kidney beans eh, make sure say you cook and make it done well before you put them here if not it goes strong next i put that green peas where we find for that ingredients carton where i say we go add so we don't add all of them now we just stir them look at it looking so yummy i topped it with some curry yeah that was curry i put in there so look at it looking so yummy yeah of course why not <laughs> so yes i'm really loving how it looks um i'm a veggie person so yeah i'm just trying to allow it cook for some time you know we still want the veggies to be alive so they're not going to be dead by the time we're eating it but just still allow it cook for some time so now what i do be that now now i can't add the pepper why i tell him now before say i add so now now i don't put the pepper i can't sit there again because i won't make it cook way because by the time we will go put them inside our rice now just to turn and put curry rice down it don't done we are ready let's go back to our rice so now this is our rice we're just going to incorporate our veggies okay bit by bit so i first put this quantity so that i go turn them you understand now the turn i want to try turn them so um after that you go put the remaining ones come carry your beef come sprinkle them on top carry your liver sprinkle them on top what you go come do combine everything together see rice we we go harvard next set you go put the same thing put the leftover of the beef and liver where you remember before combine the remaining veggies and Tada! We are good to go. Yes, guys. Our beef garnished fried rice recipe is ready. <laughs> 
So when I made this food, I was thinking of, ah, what do I name it now? What do I name it now? Because I've not seen anybody make their beef fried rice like this before. This one now, our own recipe, what we do by ourselves. No, I like anybody tell you say they don't do them like this before because I never see. If you don't see, tell me. So we say make we name them beef garnished fried rice, okay? There are various recipes to beef fried rice, but this is ours. So I see make I show now as I take package and because as I take tell now before, I get people where I want to give this food. Maybe say if I don't give them, I'm not sure say they go let me sleep for a night. So I just package them. Um, I could just give them like two two plates. Then this red plate now be my own, where I go still go keep for fridge. I see my show now say I use salad take it's my own meal because I'm a veggies person. I always they get veggie for house. So why not? So yeah, I ate mine with salad and yeah, that is it. Just still flaunting my rice, you guys. <laughs> so family thank you very much for sticking with me thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i love you guys give this video a thumbs up thank you